it was spent defending the status quo even when it would have made sense to apply new things. So product management, which is something uh, that any good product these days starts, starts with, was equal to engineering. Remembering this, scratching your own itch, the, the, the product management of what the product, what kind of features the product shall, shall contain, was managed as part of uh, the engineering efforts. So there wasn't a particular, um, it was a late coming thing ta being tacked onto the company to, to manage the product development. And uh, to be frank, those things happen at such a late point in time that most lines of code that people still today use in MySQL are written previous, prior to the time when, when product management was added to MySQL. So we don't have a situation where, where every star was aligned. There were strong weaknesses risking the success of MySQL uh, or even on the owner level, the goal setting. So the summary of this, you, it's hard to read white on white, at least for me here, but I would say that there's a, if you ask why was uh, MySQL successful, in the sense of being acquired by Sun for a for billion dollars, I would say there are three reasons. The, the success trinity, that's, that's the second lesson from, again, from my subjective standpoint. First prerequisite was insight, strategy, smartness, cleverness on the part of the CEO and uh, on the part of the founders. So doing the right thing, that, that was clearly a prerequisite for success. Then doing very diligent work, putting in very long hours, perseverance, CISO, on part of, uh, in particular, the CEO and, and, and the, the, the founders. That was clearly a prerequisite. But those are just two prerequisites. They are not sufficient conditions for creating success. So to be honest, I think everybody needs to uh, acknowledge that most successes, and I believe it's MySQL AB is not the only one, depend on a fair amount of luck. Luck as in being there at the right point in time. Creating a MySQL today wouldn't do you any good, even if you were as insightful or as, as perseverant as these guys were that created MySQL it's not the right moment in time now for creating a new database. There's, there's a moment in time for doing something else. I'm not sure what it is. If I knew, I would probably be working on it. So that was lesson number two. Now to a different 